Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Melissa and uh, today I have a foundation review. I'm so excited to try it. We saw it on Instagram and um, I couldn't wait till it actually was released. So um, what I'm talking about is the new Maybelline Dream Radiant Liquid Foundation. It's hydrating foundation and it has hyaluronic acid and collagen in it. And um, they did a pre-sale on Amazon and I believe it was $10.99 and I got three shades, one two for me and one for Caprice because I didn't know which one would work. Um, actually, I, maybe one of these that I, <clears throat> I got for myself might work for Caprice. But before we get into it, um, say hi to my friend. And um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, please. And um, I'd really appreciate it. And let's begin. Okay, I'm in my closet again um, because I'm getting ready for work. And this is like brow, brow pomade um, that I can like, I have to take off my hand. But um, yeah, just drop the kids off. And now I gotta put my face on. So I got the shade natural beige and sandy beige for myself and then we got nude for caprice and these it says gives up to 12 hour of continuous hydration visibly improves the look of skin medium coverage with a radiant finish does not clog pores dermatology tested now i don't like a radiant foundation because i'm pretty oily um, but i like the idea of the hyaluronic acid and well not that I don't like hydration I don't like a dewy foundation because then I look um, then I look really greasy and I'm greasy all the time so I like um, a matte foundation I love to hydrate my face but I like a matte foundation so I don't know how I'm gonna like this um, but first you know what I want to do is use it with my Tatcha that satin mist because that really helps mattify so maybe I'll use that and then underneath as a base and then use this maybe to look make me look hydrated but not oily okay I'm just gonna spray my face this stuff you kind of have to like really shake because like there's some kind of clay in there that looks white. So. Okay, let's just press that in. Spray it on my hands and then kind of do my nose area. I feel like this really helps mattify oh this is annoying me sorry i'm a slob i'm a slob there's no time and like it's not because i don't wash my hands i just did my make my like eye makeup but this is like waterproof i don't know why it's not waterproof on my eyes it's the kat von d um pomade but it actually because i'm so oily okay so let's try oh, these shades were kind of hard to pick from anyways this is let's has a pump it's a glass bottle i don't like glass bottles uh this shade looks like it might work okay so this is the natural beige and that's the natural beige okay i think these tones kind of like lean towards like a grayish and that's kind of not my jam so let's see okay now this is the sandy beige and that is a little pinkier I don't know if either of these are gonna work for me yeah that looks really gray okay I'm just gonna go with this sandy beige because I feel like the other one's gonna be too gray for me 
it actually feels very hydrating and very hydrating kind of scared let's go in i'm not using the natural beige do you want to see what the nude looks like just so i can show you i don't even think of personal that i that they came okay and that's the nude it's really light and it kind of has more of a pinky tone to it And I feel like this for sure will get streaky if I use a brush because it is so hydrating. Let's see if it'll hide that friend. I mean, these colors either maybe like don't work for me at all, but we'll see. It's like a medium coverage. I think like a medium to light. A light to medium, sorry. I think it'll be good for people with dry skin or mature skin like mine. I'm mature, but I actually like a matte foundation because as like you know, maybe the hour or so goes by, two hours, then my skin starts to look a little more healthy. And like at first, like I watched a video once of myself and I was like, why do I look so uh, dry, like cracky? But then like as the day goes by, I start to look, um, my skin just starts to look more hydrated and very oily. So I'm gonna put some more there, put some more in this guy. And let's put it in. I have such a bag. Alright. Okay, and I feel like Actually, just kind of like a different tone that I usually like. On camera, it looks a little white, but actually it isn't that white. That light. Um, it's just not the right, it's not like warm enough maybe for me. Um, okay, so I think that's like a solid light to medium coverage. Ah, that looks so white. Maybe if I take this away. Hmm. And see, okay, now I'm gonna go in with my concealer and okay, and then um, I'll come back and let you know. I'm gonna just do all my makeup and then I'll come back and let you know how everything going on. And I will be wearing this all day, I'm going to work, so then um, I will let you know how it wore, but. This is boring. So let me just finish my makeup and then I will be back. Okay, so I went ahead and just put some bronzer, some blush on, and um, it again, it's coming off a lot lighter in person um, than it is. Um, I mean, it, it's coming off a lot lighter on camera than it is in person. Um, I think this color like actually does work. I don't know what I'm gonna think of it um, as I wear it all day, but I will wear it. Um, also, so I wanted to show you just some stuff from Physicians Formula. I just started filming a video on it, and then um, I I don't know what happened. I just didn't finish it. I don't know. And excuse me for excuse my mascara. I actually started doing mascara and then I had to run the kids to school. So these got all clumpy. I had mascara on my lids when I was putting on my foundation. So just like excuse me, I'm a mom in real life. Like this is like how shit works. Um but anyways, I 
got these new um, Physician Formula palettes, and they're the Muru Muru um, Butter Bronzer palette. I got a highlight, a glow face palette, that's what it is, and the Muru Muru Butter Highlighting palette, and then also the Brazilian Pout Lip Kit. And that one is, I think, a limited edition, and it comes with a lip mask. Uh, and it is, okay, so I used it in this video. I didn't like the way my makeup looked. Um, I don't think I like those powders, the blushes. And um, so let me just show you. Let's just do a really quick review because I have them with me. Um, this is the lip kit, and it has three shades in there. And the lip, uh, this is Sleepy Mask Limited Edition. And I will continue to use that. These colors were really pretty and like soft and um, there's a red in there that I probably will never use. Um, but these, this one's a nude, it's called Soaking Up the Sun and then Mauve into Brazil. Okay, Soaking Up the Sun is just a nude. They are so soft and buttery. Okay, that is amazing. And then here's a mauve one, and it is just very mauve and shiny and sort of like this. They feel so good on the lips. And then this last one is a red. And I usually don't like to wear deep colors if they're gonna be this like soft and buttery. Like you want kind of a red that's gonna stay, not one that's gonna move, and it is a, a red and it is so glossy like I just touched it on my hand barely tapped it um, I think that was my favorite one um, of that collection and that is $14.99 then oh right now they're having a 30% off site wide on physicians formula if you use code winning um, then I got the this palette um, it's a highlighter palette uh, it's so pretty. I don't like the way they look. Um, they're very textured on the skin and um, really icy and that's not something I like. I'm going to return these actually because I thought they were pretty but I mean this last one is probably the one that I would use most um, and that is these are I think $9.99 and the highlighting palette, um, yeah, these are limited edition. They're so soft and buttery and like, I guess like, uh, I mean, you kind of like have to like use it very carefully and it's something you'd probably like have to use your fingers. Um, and because or else it is just like, you look like you're wearing, you have stripes on your face and that's not the look I go for. So I don't know, that one's kind of pretty. Maybe I'll keep it. Okay, and the one I absolutely did not like is um, the Glow Face Palette and it is a highlighter, blush, and a bronzer that isn't really much of a bronzer. It is so light, I mean, so light, you, and it almost has like a sheen to it. Um, I get it, it's a glow face palette, but it's not a bronzer that I like to wear. And then the blush kind of didn't show up on me. It's this peachy right there shade. It's really pretty, but I think someone with fair skin. And then this white highlighter, white. This is not like something that I'd want. And then I got the bronzer palette and this one is really pretty. It's so soft. Um, that is the deepest shade. I'll show you on my hands. They... The lightest shade doesn't really show up. I think these are really so pretty. If you like that sheen in your bronzer, um, I personally don't. I thought this one was my favorite, but when I look at it, it's they're too they have too much of a sheen in them for a bronzer. I mean, I'd use them for eyeshadows or something, but not 
from my face and that's why that day when I was filming the video I or filming that video I didn't like it because um, my skin looked so textured and I mean I textured and it was everywhere I put the bronzer so especially on my cheeks here it just looked I, I just didn't like it at all so and I was actually going out to dinner and I kind of was like upset my makeup didn't look so good so anyways um enough about those i just wanted to let you know how those um work so i am going to be returning i think i'm keeping the highlighter palette i changed my mind and i'm going to return these two because i will never wear them or i'm going to see if caprice wants to keep them but um yeah so these two i didn't like the highlighter palette i think is really pretty but i think it's something you have to like work with like just with your fingers very lightly because it is like intense highlight so um that is it i will um wear oh this feels good on my lips i will wear this foundation all day so it's about nine o'clock now and i'll be wearing it until probably eight o'clock tonight but i'll do a check-in let you know what i'm thinking and how it's working on my oily skin see you in a little bit oh and really quick by the way this I don't think anything can cover that up today. So we're just gonna let it be. It's like drying up, so. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I've been wearing this, I uh, fit in my teeth. Um, it's about 6.30, 7 o'clock. I've been wearing this since about nine. Um, I look oily, I do. Not too bad. Um, I don't know if it just didn't wear as nice as I like some of my other foundations but that's probably because I'm oily um it's not that bad though so I thought it was gonna be worse I've looked worse I'm just like shiny and greasy but not bad um so I think this would be a great foundation for people who are like normal to dry I think that would be amazing um and yeah so that's it. I hope you liked this video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time. Bye.